While we rarely feel a significant earthquake, we do have earthquakes here in the Wabash Valley. Certainly true. It's an important reminder for Earthquake Awareness Month. News 10's Madison Zaleski tells us what we need to know. Well, Patrice Rondrell, you may remember in August this past year, a series of many quakes was reported in Lawrence County, Illinois. So I spoke with a local woman in Lawrence County who felt this earthquake. It was kind of scary at first. It, it sounded like thunder or something because it was loud, but then the house shook. Ruthie Holter was shaken up after feeling an earthquake in Lawrence County, Illinois last August. But that wasn't the first time she experienced an earthquake. When she first built her house years ago, an earthquake caused her walls to crack. There's a big one right here. It goes all the way across to the dining room. Now you may not realize this, but the Wabash Valley sits in an area at greater risk for earthquakes. And that's because we're in between two seismic zones, the new Madroid Fault Zone and the Wabash Valley Seismic Zone. The Wabash Valley Fault System is further to the southwest of Indiana, close to uh, and the border of Indiana, Illinois. But it extends to the north and northeast, uh, closer to Terre Haute and uh, Lafayette. The new Madrid seismic zone is located in the central Mississippi Valley, and that was responsible for the massive quakes in 1811 and 1812. Typically, people report feeling earthquakes larger than a magnitude 3. Anything over magnitude 5 can cause significant damage. Experts say earthquakes are often unpredictable, which is why they're so dangerous. If you break a stick, and it's something we know it will eventually break, but it it's hard to tell exactly when and where it will break. While we can't predict the next earthquake, we can be prepared. If you experience an earthquake, remember, drop, cover, and hold on. Drop to the floor, take cover under a sturdy desk, table, or other furniture, and hold on to that object until the shaking ends. And there are a few precautionary steps you can take. Doing an assessment within your house, uh, strapping down water heaters, uh, making sure that bookcases are secured and mounted, uh, for safety of falling. After experiencing multiple earthquakes in her lifetime, Holter has one piece of advice for people. Don't live in fear, but be aware. We can't live like that, but be, around, be aware of where you would go, where you're at. Now, emergency officials also suggest homeowners should explore adding earthquake insurance. Back to you.